I've been rewatching Deadwood recently, so of course I have to wear my onesie that reminds me of Al. They sure love showing him use that chamber pot, don't they? Now, if you've never seen Deadwood, be forewarned, it is not for the faint of heart. That show is literally like a poison and I've had to ingest it very slowly and over an extended period of time so as to build up a tolerance to it because I literally feel like it can kill me. And there are still plenty of scenes that during the rewatching process, I know which to skip, which will trigger me. But overall, I do enjoy the show because I'm obsessed with the cast and my favorite dynamic is between Al and Trixie. I mean, I love all of the characters, uh, but yeah, those two are my favorite. So today I want to make a dress that reminds me of Trixie. I found this pattern on Etsy and it seemed a bit old fashioned Wild West to me and it instantly reminded me of her. So I'm going to attempt to recreate an outfit in the spirit of Deadwood. It's definitely one of my favorite shows, but like I said, it's hard to watch and I am a lightweight so it's been a real challenge through the years to acclimate myself to the brutality, the mentality, just the historical realness of it which is freaking disgusting. Um, but the actors are amazing, the set is beautiful, the character dynamics are so interesting and I, I love the script and the monologue performances. Besides Al and Trixie, I think then right under them falls Doc Cochran. So maybe one day I will make Doc's outfit because I really like it. For now, I'm just gonna focus on Trixie. I cannot get warm today. I am so cold and so tired. Uh, this 5 p.m. darkness thing, um, I'm not really acclimating to it quite yet, uh, but on to the project. So overall, it's been really fun to sew everything. I haven't really been struggling with the directions, with the process, and that's refreshing. A lot of times I do have moments where I struggle, but for some reason, the outfit is just, I'm, I'm nailing it, it's coming together. With that said, it doesn't really remind me of Trixie, and if I'm being completely honest with myself, um, I don't think it reminded me of Trixie from the get-go. It just reminded me of Deadwood in general. With regards to the outfit, I just think it's a little too formal, a little too uptight. Uh, Trixie tends to show a little bit more skin, so this would be more in line with an outfit that Alma would wear. But uh, 
Alma's clothing is just so detailed, so ornate, and that's one of the problems that I'm having. I am putting a lot of effort into making this outfit, but I think that the fabric choice is holding me back a bit. Now, I am a huge fan of linen. It's pretty much all that I use. It is my preferred fabric of choice, and I think nine times out of 10, it suits everything that I wanna make and wear perfectly. Uh, but I guess something about this dress it seems like I should have used a fancier fabric. I mean, I don't even really know the different names of fabric, uh, but something like taffeta comes to mind. I feel like that's floating around in here, or maybe some kind of like satin. And I think even the cover of the pattern, the woman is wearing kind of like a shinier, fancier fabric. I'm curious to see how it will come across on camera when I'm on location filming the reveal. What it really reminds me of is some kind of like poor, humble librarian at Deadwood, and that character doesn't exist, but I just feel like I am the Deadwood librarian. I'm definitely not like that flashy, and I usually don't dress in rich, luxurious fabrics, so being the Deadwood librarian is completely fine for me, and I'm really, really excited to go to the farm and shoot the reveal, and I hope that I come up with something magical and memorable, and again, remember, I am just always trying to chase these little fantasies I have of being in a movie or being in an ongoing series like Deadwood or some kind of period drama that just really excites me and kind of tickles my brain in all the right places. Those are the settings I love, those are the costumes I love, and unfortunately, usually the storylines are really challenging for me to follow because they're usually awful and horrible and highlight how tragic it was to survive those times and those conditions and everything those people had to put up with on a consistent and daily basis just to stay alive. I'm basically just like a giant child. I'm very sensitive and I need to be shielded from the brutality of <laughs> real life a lot of times. What am I doing? I'm, I'm rambling. Anyway, I am excited to film the reveal and hopefully I'll come up with some neat footage and um, I will see you soon. I had so much fun at the horse farm. I really felt like I was at home. Once I had that outfit on, I'm not even gonna call it a costume. I understand it's probably a costume, but for me, it just felt like an outfit, and I feel like there is a differentiation between the two of those things. But once I had my outfit on and I was on the horse, I was actually a better rider. 
I don't know. I guess it's what actors kind of describe when they feel like the costume and the makeup and the setting just kind of completes the whole situation and makes them feel super invested in what they're doing. And then their performance gets to improve based on all of these external factors. That's what I feel like happened with me as a horseback rider. Uh, I've only been taking lessons for a little less than a year. Previously, I had been taking lessons when my oldest daughter, who is now 19, when she was like, I don't know, five or six and we took lessons for about a year or a year and a half and then we discontinued life got in the way like it always does but yeah it's been a long time since I've ridden a horse and I kind of had a scary incident where one was kind of ornery and tried to buck me off and I really lost my confidence and it's been challenging for me to build that confidence back up. A lot of fear and doubt creeps into my mind and I know it's a dangerous sport but I'm, I'm just obsessed with the skill and I would love to possess the ability to really kind of command the situation and just be a kick-ass horseback rider. So I don't want to give up because I don't want my fears to control and dictate what I can and can't accomplish. I just have to move through my fears. And something about wearing that outfit and being on the horse, everything just clicked. It was so enjoyable. And it's just amazing what fashion can do. Um, I mean, maybe it was just a coincidence. Maybe I'm going overboard. But regardless, it was such a fun experience. And I want to try to replicate it, of course. The biggest thing that I didn't like about the outfit was the underskirt, the black underskirt. It's just a straight A-line. And I I do like my skirts to have some gathers and be a little more full. So I'm gonna try to reconfigure that pattern and have the skirt panels be a little wider. So when I gather them, it will create a fullness and kind of like that pleated gathered look that I really crave. And I think it's just so beautiful when skirts have that type of silhouette. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the project, the process, the outcome, the reveal. Yeah, overall, just the project turned out well in my my opinion. I might go back in and recreate the outfit in a different color scheme and maybe give the shirt some long sleeves. I think that might be nice for the colder months. But overall, just very pleased. Very pleased with the outcome. So here we are at the end of another project. And if you enjoyed the video, if you could like and subscribe, it truly means the world to me. I would love to slowly turn this channel into more of a career, less of a hobby and your support is crucial for that. So until next time, see you soon. Bye.